YouTube, today I'll be continuing my story as an A-level candidate at 11 years old. So let's start. So my year 7 was basically just revising for my A-level. Keep in mind this AS is no longer offered. Normally you would be able to get a predicted grade, however, for this you will not be able to since you only get a predicted grade if you are applying for a university. I believe. This might be good for people who have good relationships with their teachers, however, for people who don't, it might not be as good. Once I had a teacher who would not enter me into an exam, and this is an upcoming video. If it has already arrived, then it should be up here. So basically, what I ended up doing most of the time was doing past papers. It is hard to get your hands on these past papers, however, if you do, you will be able to start seeing a pattern and a few similarities in the questions. I did vocab on trains and revised them constantly. For MFL A level you need to translate a lot and it's much easier to translate into English. So I started to do translations every single day. I did this by using past papers in different MFL languages from the same exam board. You can get this for free of charge. For the essay part you just need to practice, practice, practice. I practiced some of the questions from other past papers from other languages as well. I saved my actual modern foreign language papers as proper mocks where I actually knew what I was doing. My MFL did not have a textbook, so all I could do was pass paper after pass paper. I was also always revising vocabulary, and in other ways I watched some programs and listened to some music for exposure. On the actual test I got a top mark, which is an A, since you couldn't get an A star in this test. I really didn't want to see my test paper at first, since I thought I'd got a bad grade, since I hadn't done so well in the essay part, and I had to use my imagination. Obviously, the essay is a huge part and it gives a very high mark, so it was quite important, but it turns out I didn't do that bad. The grade boundary is different each year, so I just had to keep my fingers crossed. It was a big jump from GCSE to A-level, and I wasn't familiar with some of the topics, such as volunteering, which I'd never done before since I was so young. It was a bit risky to do your MFL A-level so early, however, it was a good idea since I wasn't going to take an MFL subject or course in university. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and you can find out to do something productive since there is a lot of lessons available online. Even if this is a lockdown, you can still find lots of interesting things to learn online for free, which is the great thing about our modern day society. I restarted another MFL language that I ditched in year 4 and it's been an amazing experience so far. So please do like my video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more similar content and also check out my channel if you find any other interesting videos please do comment down below in them and then tell me about what you thought about them. Comment down below this video too if you have any questions or opinions that you want to share. I'll make sure to reply to them. Until then I will see you very soon.